Just received the first edit uh, back from our producer of um, Vivaldi's Opus 8, Volume 1. Of course, uh, this has the four seasons as numbers 1, 2, 3 and 4. Probably a few of you will know that we've already recorded the seasons. Actually, ten, 10 years ago, I think. Yeah, 10 years ago. I did think long and hard about whether we needed to do another one. And it wasn't really that we needed to do another version of the Four Seasons, but um, it's actually, uh, you know, uh, trumpet fanfare, please. Um, it's our 30th anniversary uh, very shortly coming up, and we're going to have our 30th anniversary season that actually coincides rather neatly with uh, the 300th anniversary of uh, uh, the Vivaldi's publication of his Opus 8 concertos, 12 concertos, for violin, strings, and continuing. So, um, so we thought for our 30th anniversary, we'll uh, we're going to release uh, Opus 8 Volume One, the beginning of, of 2025, and Volume Two, the end of 2025. The first recording is quite good um, of, the, of the four seasons, um, but you know, if you're going to take a, what could be a pretty dangerous step of re-recording -re it again and going, hey guys, you don't want to listen to this one. You want it to be better than the first one, and that's not, you know, that's not necessarily a given. So that was a bit stressful. Uh, but having heard the, uh, having heard the, the first edit of the, um, of the new version of the Four Seasons, um, I have to say I think this, you know, yeah, you want to throw your old one out, buy the new one, right? It's sounding pretty good already. Um, also, you know, for the nerds like me, uh, the first album was of the seasons was the Manchester version, and uh, the uh, the new versions, the Opus Eight version. Though, although a lot of people talk about um, the differences, though, although they are pretty subtle, the differences between the two versions. Um, I actually think, having gone through both versions pretty carefully, that. A lot of the differences are actually uh, errors on behalf of the Amsterdam uh, engravers. So anyway, but in order to get into that, we probably need to do that over a pint in the pub. Um, and as you can see, I'm not the pub at the moment, so we'll leave it there. <laughs> 